आपसे गुजारिश कर रहा हूँ आई अंडरस्टैंड योर लॉर्डशिप कंसर्न अबाउट द इलेक्शन आई विल सेटिस्फाई दैट ई सी पी की ऑर्डर में भी लेकिन सर्टन वायलेशन ने नॉट ओनली वायलेशन ऑफ द अपॉइंटमेंट There are certain violations. Uh, Not if you want to see no. page six one three of the paper book, yeah. it is oh. in fact page ten of the order of the ECP. You can read certain paragraphs in which certain violations have been mentioned. <coughs> Let us read that order yes. because I want to be very clear. The ECP is not saying that. I have read it. नहीं नहीं उस का नहीं है वो total कह रहे हैं ना वो नहीं इस तरह नहीं हो सकता सर. They have they are actually they it's a it's they have taken a very serious point on this. And so they have. ये पहले आप ये पढ़ लीजिए paragraph twenty two page. Page बताइए please. Page six one two के ऊपर paper book number one. Of the paper book. नहीं sorry paper book number three. Paper book दे ये paper. Your Lordship wants me to read at which para? Paragraph twenty-two. Se aap aage chalenge to. According to the available record, the General Secretary of PTI is Mr. Asad Umar, and nothing in document is available that PTI or any other competent wing of PTI has ever elected Mr. Umar Ayub as Secretary General of PTI. We are. We also fail to find here in PTI Constitution any provision that Chairman of PTI may extend tenure of any office bearers. while the tenure of chairman itself has expired on 13623 so after target date 13623 chairman possesses no authority to exercise such power either to control or to extend the tenure of any office bearers such eventuality is well defined in the procedures provided in the clause 4 of article 5 of pti constitution which reads as under in case of the chairman's position falling vacant due to any reason the sg shall take additional charge of the office in the interim and elections for the chairman's office shall be held within 30 days of position falling vacant so so far 22 is just about appointments we the aage chal clause 1 of article 5 general provisions of pti constitution wheels widely speaks about collective decision making which reads as under all decision shall be taken by the corresponding governing body executive committee and other such bodies by a majority of vote minimum quorum required for validity shall be 75% for smaller bodies committees and 50% for the larger committees councils of the total membership agenda items shall be distributed by the secretary along with invitation notice wherever possible the clause 1.3 of article 5 general provisions of pti constitution describes that governing body can take provisional decisions in policy matters where there is enough room to believe that an executive committee meeting could not be convened in time again nothing to do with the election is it padhte rahi hai after as mentioned here and above it was mandatory for the pti in terms of clause 1.4 of article 5 that on expiry of 18 months thereafter the adoption of the pti constitution 2015 which has been adopted on 15 2019 to appoint the chief organizer who had to use all the powers and functions of the chairman well mentioned there in clause 4.2 of article 5 of the pti constitution already reproduced here and above paragraph 26 Going through the above mentioned clause 4 of article 5 of the PTI constitution the PTI general council as per record supplied here to the commission adopted and approved the constitution 2019 on 15 2019 and thereafter 18 months constitutionally the PTI is deemed to be run by chief organizer till the announcement of intra party election of the federal EC by the federal EC however it would be the chief organizer to nominate various members and constitute various committees in integrum period thereafter 18 months of adoption of PTI constitution 2019 and first intra party election scheduled on 13621 as the chairman of pti never opted to hold intra party election till 10622 just three days before the target date of the intra party election provided there under section 208 of the election act 2017 however as the said election was not found to be held in accordance with pti constitution 2019 declared void by this commission okay as discussed here and above in accordance with clause 4 of article 5 of pti constitution 2019 all powers to organize pti vests and deemed to vest in the chief organizer which according to their available record has never been appointed so far while according to constitution of pti 2019 no other office bearer has the authority and power to appoint or nominate any other office bearer particularly federal election commission so so far it is all about appointments did you agree the available record submitted by pti here and before the commission never provided any document that any corporate authority had ever appointed federal election commission in accordance with the provisions of article 9 of pti constitution 2019 only appointment of a single federal election commissioner is not requirement of article 9 of the pti constitution and such a solitary office bearer could not exercise any power to hold pti intra party election till the commission as a whole not appointed by a competent authority provided there under article 9 of the pti constitution however federal election commissioner may frame and make 
bylaws only for the purpose to conduct his day to day affairs and working subject to notify the same on website. But no authority has been provided there under PTI constitution that apart from constitution, bylaws or rules will also be made. Even if it is admitted that PTI made some rules for internal affairs, it could not supersede the basic document that is constitution of PTI, where a specific procedure is provided for appointment of election commissioner and particularly office bearer than any rule made in contravention of such provision of constitution has no any legal sanctity and could not be given effect thereto. So keeping in view the clear mandate of Election Act 2017 dealt with PTI Constitution 2019 and for reasons mentioned here and above, it is held that PTI has not complied with our directions rendered therein order dated 23rd November and failed to hold intra-party election according to PTI prevailing Constitution 2019 and Election Act 2017 and Election Rules 2017. Therefore, the certificate dated 4 December 23 and Form 65 filed by the alleged chairman is hereby regretted and rejected accordingly. The provisions of Section 215 of the Election Act 2017 are hereby invoked and PTI is hereby declared ineligible to obtain the election symbol for which they have applied for. So they have not your gone deficiencies into deficiencies. Yeah. They have taken from your own constitution. Ye election act Sir, ka ki ye hum aap se they have just pointed out deficiencies in election and appointment of federal election commission yes. from your own constitution. Correct. Main ye keh raha hu, exactly wohi keh raha. Aapne farmaya tha ki they have pointed out other irregularities. Mm -hmm. Main aapko keh raha hu ki jo election commission ne point out kiya hai, sirf aur sirf appointments ke basis pe kiya hai, not on the on the question ke aapne kaha venue kaha tha not on the question ke aapke schedule is our sub that is what i am saying nahi main aapki baat samajh gaya hu ji magar aap hamari baat samjhe na ji aapki baat main samajh raha hu nahi main keh raha hu dekhiye aap main ek nateeje pe pahunchne ke liye main ek tarike se judgment likh do ji mere saathi wohi nateeje pe pahunchne ke liye dusre tarike se judgment bhi likh sakte hain मुझे सिर्फ यह देखना है कि जो नतीजे पे हम पहुंचे हैं वो सही था या नहीं अब वो हाइपर टेक्निकल चले जाएं या वो आईन की बात करें या वो बेनजीर भुट्टो के केस की बात करें वो सारे राह हैं नतीजा क्या था नतीजा सिंपल सा था कि इलेक्शन कैसे हुए ठीक है आपने तुम अब सिंपल सी बात थी अकबर अहमद साहब अगर इतने ही इनकी सपोर्ट नहीं है हार जाते इलेक्शन और क्या होता ठीक है तो ये बुनियादी बात हमें देखना है कि इलेक्शन हुए यानी आपकी पार्टी में आप ये नहीं कह सकते हैं कि और ये इसकी अहमियत अब ये हम बात करना चाहेंगे इसकी अहमियत इसलिए भी बढ़ जाती है क्योंकि जो आपके फाउंडिंग मेंबर हैं वो फिलहाल जेल में फेसिंग ट्रायल तो कल तो क्या ये लोग कौन है हमारे सामने खड़े हैं या तो आप हमें दिखाएं कि आप लोग फाउंडिंग मेंबर्स थे ठीक है वो एक फाउंडिंग मेंबर कह रहा है कि जी मुझे इलेक्शन तक नहीं लड़ने दे रहे हैं शायद बहुत बुरा हो आपको नहीं पसंद हो मगर वो इलेक्शन को ही उसको राइट तो दे देना एक तरफ आप कह रहे हैं मुझे पार्टी को इलेक्शन लड़ने दें वो आपके अंदर घर वाला घर है तो मुझे तो करने दो ना मैं क्यों ना पार्टी का हेड बन जाऊं मे बी वॉन्ट्स बी चेयरमैन मे बी वॉन्ट्स बी वट सेक्रेटरी जनरल हार जाए जीत जाए अगर आपके साढ़े लाख मेंबर हैं उनको पे भरोसा क्यों नहीं कर रहे हैं ये बता दें और अगर आपने कर दिया है भरोसा वो हमें उस कुछ तो दिखा दें ना हमें कि वाकई कुछ हुआ था कागज का टुकड़ा कल सपोज अकबर एस अहमद एक कागज का टुकड़ा लिया आते हैं उस पर आपकी पार्टी का नाम टाइप कर देते हैं और अपने आप को अपॉइंट कर देते हैं और इलेक्शन अपना नाम लिख देते हैं अनपोज तो हमारे पास दो कागज के टुकड़े होंगे किसको हम मानेंगे तो फिर आप हमें बताएंगे नहीं नहीं इन्होंने तो घर में बैठ के कर दिया मैंने तो जाके इलेक्शन नॉमिनेशन पेपर था इतने लोगों ने नॉमिनेशन पेपर दिया इतने वोटर आए थे आ, तो ये आ, ये हमारा मसला आपका पॉइंट बिल्कुल समझ चुका हूँ सर मैं आपने पहले भी रिपीट किया आ, मैं आ, 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 ये आ, आ, वो इस तरह से चला गया इलेक्शन कमीशन या उस तरफ मैं बिल्कुल मेरा खाली पॉइंट ये था कि अभी मैं ये कहना चाह रहा था कि हम तो बड़े आपके कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से मुतासर हुए हाँ। कि आप इलेक्शन आप पोलिटिकल पार्टीज को आप डेमोक्रेटिक बना रहे हैं आपकी बिल्कुल बजा बात है लेकिन इलेक्शन कमीशन इस तरफ नहीं गया दैट इज ऑल दॉइंट उसमें पैरा नाइनटीन में आप देखिए उनकी जो फाइंडिंग है जो उनका रेशो ऑफ द जजमेंट है दे हैव हेल्ड दैट द इलेक्शन कमीशन हैज नो जूरिस्टिक्शन एग्जैक्टली सर द इंट्रा पार्टी इलेक्शन तो पहले हमने वो थ्रेश होल्ड करना है दूसरी हो गई ना वो तो कह रहे हैं कि आप अगर ये आप आर्ग्यू करें कि इलेक्शन कमीशन को 
انٹر پارٹی الیکشن دیکھنے کا اختیار ہی نہیں ہے جی کہہ رہا ہوں آپ کو نوٹ کرایا یو آر سپورٹنگ دی ججمنٹ آف دل دین یو ہیو ٹو شو فرام ڈفرینٹ پروویژن آف لا پڑھائے گا اگر میں ایک مفروضے کے طور پہ پوچھ رہا ہوں آپ کی کیس سے نہیں پوچھ رہا ہوں کوئی اور پولیٹیکل پارٹی ہے وہ 